My name is Ann Simpson and I'm one of the librarians here at the Winter Park Library. Did you know that you have access to the digital versions of the Orlando Sentinel, the New York Times, and historical newspaper archives all for free with your library card? Let's check it out. You can access all of these newspapers for free from just about anywhere. To get started on your computer, just head to our website, which is WPPL.org. There, you just want to click on Research and Study in the top menu bar here. This will redirect you to a listing of all of our databases that are, of course, free with your library card, and they're listed in alphabetical order. For this video, we're looking for the New York Times, so we need to go to the second page and then scroll down just a little bit until we see New York Times. To access the database, just click on the icon. If you're accessing it from home, you'll be prompted to enter your library card number before you can access the database. And here we go. Ta-da! This is our New York Times database. You can see that listed at the top here. Access to the archives of the New York Times from June 1st, 1980 until the most current issue is provided by ProQuest, which you can see up here. If you want to read the articles, just scroll down a little bit. This database defaults to showing you the current issue of the newspaper and it lists the headlines in the order that they appear in the paper. So you can scroll down and look at all of the articles published in today's copy of the New York Times. Or you can use the search bar here to search within the issue, or the search bar here to search within the entire publication. Now, there's nothing specific that I'm looking for, so let's just pick one of these articles and take a look. How about the quote of the day? So all we do is click on the headline, and then it brings us to the full text of the article. This article, understandably, is pretty short. So we can see it here. It's a quote from President Biden. If you click on details, it'll show you a little bit more about the publication information of the article in case you need that. You can also use the buttons here at the top to save, cite, email, print, or more, depending on what you need to do with the article. Like, for instance, share it with your friends. If we want to go back, we can just hit back to the issue or use these arrow keys to thumb forward to the next article in the paper, which we can see here, and it's listed the full text. If you're having any trouble getting started with the New York Times database, just check out the links below this video. They're all really great resources. And of course, you can always call or email the library for more help. We're always happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.